Hi everyone, this is Dio from The Art Trek and ArtTrek830.com and in today's video we're taking a deeper look into the seven elements of art by concentrating on line. I tend to teach that there are five basic lines and with these five basic lines you can pretty much draw whatever you want. If you understand these lines, then you'll become a better artist. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we learn. Okay, so let's talk about lines. We have five basic lines. And the first one here is a vertical line. Vertical lines tend to go straight up and down, just like you see here. Then we have horizontal lines that go left and right, followed by diagonal lines. Now diagonal lines are just slanted lines. They don't go straight up and down. They don't go left to right. And then we have zigzags that have short, sharp turns. And the fifth basic line is a curve. And curves also turn, but they turn with smooth and long turns. Now keep in mind that while these are the five basic lines, they do come in variations. We have thick lines, we have thin lines, we have dashed lines, we have dotted lines, and there's hundreds of different types of lines, okay? And then we have mixes of lines. Let's take a look at vertical lines. When we draw things in a vertical format, going straight up and down, we give them the sense of being strong and confident. Whenever you see a big giant tree, you know that tree is strong. You know it's big, tall, and strong. So if you want to depict someone that is strong, you draw them standing straight up instead of slouched. Let's draw this really quick superhero. We have different types of lines for the superhero, but his posture is standing straight up. Here's a cape. There is letter D, and it's missing something. Let's add a beard. Perfect. That's a good looking superhero. The horizontal lines are a bit different. They go left to right. And when we draw things in a horizontal format, it gives us a sense of security. Everything is somewhat balanced. You know, like if you're in a boat, and is rocking back and forth, you're gonna be afraid. Now imagine that rocking being a line. It would go more like a zigzag than a horizontal. But when a boat is steady and it's nice and horizontal, it feels safe, it's comforting for us. Much like our beds at night, we lay on our beds in a horizontal format and that gives us a sense of safety Okay, so diagonal lines are a bit trickier. Depending on the direction of the diagonal line, we can either get a positive or a negative effect. A diagonal line that goes bottom to top to the right will give us a sense of accomplishment, while a diagonal line going top to bottom going to the right will give us a sense of failure. Let's take this example. Whenever we draw people going up a flight of stairs, it represents accomplishments. Whenever we draw people going down a flight of stairs, it means something went horribly wrong. So the direction of the diagonal line will tell you a lot about your drawing. Is it accomplishing something or did it fail at something? Now let's take a look at curves and zigzags. Actually, let's take a look at curves versus zigzags. I'm going to draw two little monsters. And for this first one, I'm going to use curved lines. He has a little curvy face, a little cheeky face. Some round horns, some round spikes, and some round teeth. It's almost a cute little monster. 
However, if I draw the same monster using zigzags, really sharp lines with sharp turns, I get a different feeling. And this is because usually zigzags represent not only an energetic feel, but a dangerous feel. In our mind, short and sharp turns equals dangerous. Kind of like a sharp object, it's dangerous. So if I add these same horns and spikes to this one with zigzags, it makes it look a lot more scarier than this cute little bubbly faced round monster. If you want to continue learning about line and you want to practice your line work, we have some projects under the project section of the videos. Uh, check those out and there should be some handouts next to them. You can download them and print them and use them. If you do work on them, do me a favor on Facebook, go ahead and post pictures of your work. I would love to see it. All right. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep creating.